Hi everybody, my name is Anthony Arroyo. Um, I uh, run the website theabletoncookbook.com and today we're going to be talking a little bit about gating and um, especially its use in live and some interesting things you can do with it. Um, but first I think the, the best thing to do is to discuss what gating actually is. So gating is an effect um, where essentially any signal below a certain threshold will be cut off altogether. And that's not entirely true because you can actually cut it down by a certain amount, but in essence, gating is an effect where all signals below a certain volume are reduced by a predetermined amount. Um, and so in live, there's a really good gating plugin that, um, that fits really well with the whole workflow of live um, and has a few main parameters that we should talk about. So the basic parameters of, of um, the gating effect in live are the threshold, and this is kind of the most important one, I think. Uh, and that is basically the volume below which the gating will be applied. So basically the threshold is the trigger that will make the whole effect turn on or take effect, <laughs> essentially. Um, the attack is going to be the speed at which the gating effect is applied. So um, it's, it could just be all together at once, almost immediately, basically immediately, or it can take several hundred milliseconds. So it depends on how, how fast you want that effect to come in. Um, another effect, the next knob down is hold. And the hold effect is going to be the minimum time for which the, the, uh, the effect is engaged. Uh, and so I'll, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. It sort of makes more sense when you hear it. Um, and then the next one is the release. So the release is actually the speed with which the effect is turned off. So once the threshold signal has been reached, the effect turns on and the speed at which it's affected uh, or the speed with which uh, the effect comes online is, is determined by the attack how long it, it stays on is the hold, and then how long it takes to, to go back to normal, essentially, is, is the release. And for all kinds of reasons, you don't want that to be immediately because it sounds really choppy. But once again, we'll, we'll uh, discuss those in a few seconds here. And the final two are actually flip, and flip basically just inverts the whole process. So usually gate will be only will only take effect when the threshold drops below a certain level, but uh, with with um, with flip, it will basically only take effect when it's above a certain level. So it just inverts the entire effect, actually. Um, and then the attenuation, which is that little slider at the bottom, is actually going to affect how by how much the volume is reduced once the gating takes effect. So usually it's it's preset to negative 40 uh, decibels, which basically means it turns the signal off. Um, but you can actually set it a little bit higher. So basically it just lowers the signal as opposed to actually turning it off. And that's useful a lot of times if you're doing a uh, voiceover, for example, and you don't want the effect, the, the background sound to be turned all the way off, but just to be turned down to a certain level, that's very useful. So those are the basic parameters of gating, and uh, now I'm going to show you how to use those in real life. So let's go ahead and add a gate. And yeah, before we do this, let's hear this. Music is the weapon. Gate. Music is the thing of the future. Music is the weapon of the future. So Music you can the hear weapon. there's this music playing in the background um, in between his words. So let's try to get rid of that music using this gating effect. Music is the weapon. One more time. Music is the thing of the future. Music is the weapon of the future. Music is the weapon. Music so is the weapon. Let's with the gating now. Music is the thing of the future. As you music can see, it the only, music only is the um, signal music that is, is the below the, the threshold marker music is, the is weapon of the actually future. allowed to come through. Music is the weapon. 
Music is the thing so of the future. Sounds so very choppy. So it's adjusting music the attack. Music is the weapon of the future. Music is the weapon. You can see here that actually the music attack is the thing the of the future. Is smoother. Music is the weapon of the future. But music it's is zero, the it's still too choppy. Music is the thing of the future. Music is the so we're gonna, let's weapon open it up of the future. More. Music so is the weapon. A bit more natural. Music is the thing of the future. Music is the, the threshold. weapon of the future. We're raising music the threshold because you could hear some of the music was music still punching of the through. But music is cutting the off too quickly. weapon of the future. Music is the weapon. So let's adjust the release music a little bit. So thing of the let's hear what it sounds like just with, with music zero is the release. Weapon of the future. Music is the really weapon. Choppy. Music is the thing of the future. Open it a little bit. Music is the weapon of the future. Music is the but weapon. You see, if you put it all the way up, music is the thing of the future. Too far, music is the it just never closes. Of the future. So music is the weapon. Bring it down a little... Music is the thing of the future. And now you can hear music is the that it kind of fades of out in a more natural fashion. Music is the weapon. Music is the thing of the future. Music is the weapon of the future. Music is the weapon. Music is the thing of the future. So if you were to music use is this the effect, weapon um, of the future. Over over some music, you wouldn't hear the music anything uh, whatsoever. So you can hear that that lower volume uh, information has been cut out. Music off. is the weapon. Music is the thing of the future. Even though music in the waveform you can see there's something the going future. on, it's being sort of stifled the by the gate. 